Premier, Honourable Ministers, Cabinet Secretary, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to welcome you all to Government House today for this swearing in of a new Senator and junior ministers. Let me now hand over to Premier Burt to set out the advice that he provided on these appointments. Your Excellency, Cabinet and Parliamentary colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you. The Senate provides a valuable oversight role under Bermuda's Constitution. In an often calmer setting than the lower house, senators examine legislation and bring a perspective to debates that can inform the application of legislation to the everyday lives of Bermuda's people. That care and concern for the people was always exemplified by the service of now former Senator Dr. Ernest Peets. As a trained professional in the caring services, Dr. Peets brought a genuine empathy and humanness to his service, and I wish to thank him for all that he did to advance the critical policies and agenda of the government. I am pleased to welcome Senator Leslie Robinson to the government's existing team of junior ministers and I have every confidence that she will diligently fulfill this new role. Senator Robinson will serve as Junior Minister of Economy and Labor and Junior Minister of Public Works, and will speak for those ministries in the Upper House. Senator Robinson is a proud alumnus of West Pember Primary, the Barclay Institute, the Bermuda College, and Emory University. Senator Robinson has over 33 years experience in the financial services sector in Bermuda, with 22 years in captive management and broking, and 11 years as a financial services regulator. She is currently Senior Vice President, Head of Underwriting and Claims at Willis Towers Watson Management Bermuda Limited, and is an associate of the Chartered Insurance Institute of London. Senator Robinson is a strong advocate for insurance education, having been a full-time lecturer of insurance studies at the Bermuda College during the late 1990s, and also a former part-time lecturer and seminar presenter at the former Bermuda Insurance Institute. She also served on the Bermuda Insurance Institute's Education Committee from 2002 to 2010. I wish Senator Robinson well as she embarks on this new challenge in public service. Following the changes of, to the cabinet last month, there are now 11 ministers in the House of Assembly, and our Constitution allows up to 12 ministers or junior ministers from the House. Today, I have invited the Governor to appoint MP Kim Swan as the Junior Minister for Youth, Culture, and Sport. This is a natural fit for one of Bermuda's most foremost golf professionals who brings a passion for sport and the development of young people through sport which will serve the community well. Junior Minister Swan will speak to matters related to this ministry in the House of Assembly. I'm glad that Kim has accepted this new role and I look forward to him speaking in the House of Assembly on behalf of the government on the national policies launched by the Ministry of Youth, Culture and Sport, which must now be implemented to positively impact people's lives. Tomorrow in the House of Assembly, and on Monday in the Senate, we will debate the government's throne speech and introduce a number of bills that will continue the solid record of delivery of this government on behalf of the people of Bermuda. This will be a short but productive term before rising for the Christmas break. In the last two weeks, ministers of the government had laid out the plans for this legislative session, and we look forward to continuing the work of addressing the cost of living, providing more affordable housing, delivering on education reform, bringing relief to working parents, and delivering continued economic growth by implementing Bermuda's economic recovery plan. I would like to say congratulations to the new appointees. Thank you, Excellency. I make the appointment of Ms. Leslie Lorianne Robinson as Senator under Section 27 of the Constitution and her appointment as a Junior Minister under Section 63 of the Constitution, both made on the advice of the Premier. 
I now invite Ms Robinson to take the appropriate oaths under the Constitution with respect to her appointments. I, Leslie Laureen Robinson, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III, his heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God. I, Leslie Lorianne Robinson, being appointed junior minister, do swear that I will, to the best of my judgment, at all times, when so required, freely give my counsel and advice to the governor or any other person for that time being lawfully performing the functions of the office for the good management of the public affairs of Bermuda. And I do further swear that I will not on any account at any time whatsoever disclose the counsel, advice, opinion, or vote of any particular minister or junior minister. And that I will not accept with the authority of the cabinet and to such extent as may be required by the good management of the affairs of Bermuda, directly or indirectly, reveal the business or proceedings of the candidate, cabinet, or the nature or contents of any documents communicated to me as a junior minister, or any matter coming to my knowledge in my capacity as such, and that in all things I will be a true and faithful junior minister, so help me God. And to Her Excellency the Governor, Raina Lodgy, to our Premier, the Honorable E. David Burt, JPMP, to the members of the PLP Parliamentary Group and fellow Senate colleagues, and to all family and friends present here today, I greet all of you in the precious name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of my faith and my life. I want to thank Premier Burt for having the confidence in me to choose me for this appointment, for such a time as this in the history of Bermuda. I am deeply humbled and stand here with much gratitude as I join other esteemed women in what is now a majority female Senate. And I look forward to working with all senators and members of the Parliamentary Caucus Group. Many may ask, why choose me? As I stand at Government House, I can easily think back to my early childhood, living right down the hill on North Shore, right down there, 
for I am a product of the iconic Clark family of North Shore. Like so many other families in Bermuda with roots tied to the West Indies, our grandfather, the late Arthur Randall Clark, left St. Kitts on a boat in search of a new life in Bermuda. Our grandfather worked hard as a tailor, acquired property on the North Shore, and created our family dry cleaners and tuxedo shop. He worked hard with purpose as he taught us the value of working together with family and the wider community to grow our family businesses and to give back to others who were in need. I have much admiration for my aunt, the late Dr. Faith Burgess Clark, a widow for most of her adult life, but yet worked hard with purpose to ensure all of her six children received a higher education. I think of my own parents, the late Lawrence Lancelot Clark and the late Jean Tucker Clark, who had to navigate through the many pressures of segregation and worked hard with purpose to have successful careers at the Old Bank of Bermuda and BTC, respectively. And so that principle of working hard with clarity of purpose has been passed down to me. Whether it has been working hard as an insurance professional to service the needs of my clients, working as a regulator to help with protecting the reputation of Bermuda as a leading insurance center, working as part of my PLP constituency 32 branch executive, listening to current concerns of our people, and helping them to find solutions to address their needs, or working in my beloved AME church, serving on many boards to assist with the running of my local church at Bethel and Shelley Bay, our Bermuda Conference, and the connectional levels of our church. I have worked hard with clarity of purpose to ensure that whatever task has been put before me, I will do it with, the, with focused intent and to the best of my abilities with the help of God. As such, I stand ready to serve as a senator. I want to thank my immediate family members and close friends who have come out today to be with me on this auspicious occasion and I want to again thank Premier Burt for his, this opportunity to serve. Thank you. I now invite Mr. Kim Swan to make the oath of allegiance and oath for the due execution of his office as junior minister. Oath of Allegiance, I, Hubert Kim Eugene Swan, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III, his heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. Oath for the due execution of the office of junior minister. I, Hubert Kim Eugene Swan, being appointed junior minister, do swear that I will, to the best of my judgment, at all times when so required, freely give my counsel and advice to the governor or any other person for the time being lawfully performing the functions of that office for the good management of the public affairs of Bermuda. And I do further swear that I will not on any account at any time whatsoever disclose the counsel, advice, opinion, or vote of any particular minister or junior minister. And I will not 
except with the authority of the cabinet and to such extent that may be required for the good management and the affairs of Bermuda, directly or indirectly, reveal the business or proceedings of the cabinet or the nature or contents of any documents communicated to me as a junior minister or any matter coming to my knowledge in my capacity as such, and that in all things I will be true and faithful junior minister, so help me God. Your Excellency, Premier, the Honorable E. David Burt, members of cabinet, senators, parliamentary colleagues, people of Bermuda, I'm humbled, deeply humbled today to be here before you. I give thanks to Almighty God for allowing me to continue my life of service as a young man coming forth many years ago, standing for parliament at age 25 years and four months, in 1983, through my journey to where I am today. Many folks will know that I've been known for a lot of remarks, but today my remarks will be very short. And in that spirit, the one thing as I give thanks to my PLP family who have em embraced me and allowed me to be Kim Swan and serve that I aim to be better at what I do and do the best that I can in so doing. And the passage that comes to mind today is the shortest passage in the Bible, Jesus wept. And I'm, I'm humbled and moved, and all I'll say is that the oath that I gave, I meant every single word of it. It's an opportunity to give greater service to the country that I love, and I aim to do just that, serving the Progressive Labor Party government proudly. I come from White Hill originally. Many people heard me say that. I'm proud of people like Walter Roberts and Walter Lister. I'm proud of my cousin, Reginald, the late Reginald Boris, and my good family friend, Stanley Lowe. I'm proud to call Ottawa Simmons Fran and to have sat in Dame Lewis Brown's house while my daughter played with the puzzle while I shared some of my problems, even when I wasn't PLP. She embraced me right there on St. John's Road. And that final seventh member I'm proud to have known, not as well as I knew the others, Al Frederick Wade. His legacy lives on. So if you want to know what principles I would hold, I'll go back to that faithful seven from 85 who stood strong. And in 2022, stand strong and provide the type of service that's required to take this country to greater heights. Thank you. Thank you. As 
As Governor, I really look forward to working with both Ms Robinson and Mr Swan and wish them both very much um, every success in carrying out their duties and responsibilities. That concludes the swearing-in ceremony for this afternoon, so I thank you all and I believe there are some refreshments.